To write the formula for mercury 2 phosphide, we first note that mercury here, we have this Roman numeral 2 in parentheses. That means that mercury is going to be a transition metal. So we can write the element symbol Hg for mercury, and the 2, that tells us we'll have a 2 plus here. For the phosphide, this is from phosphorus, let's look at the periodic table to find the ionic charge for phosphorus. So this is the periodic table organized by ionic charge. And we come over here. Here's phosphorus. It's right below nitrogen, group 15, sometimes called 5A. So it'll have a 3 minus ionic charge. So we write P, that's for our phosphide ion, and it's 3 minus. So because mercury 2 phosphide is neutral, it doesn't say ion after it, these charges here, they need to add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. What we can do is use the crisscross method to make that a little bit easier. We move the 3 down here and the 2 over here. We get rid of these symbols here. And this is the formula for mercury 2 phosphide, Hg3P2. But let's check our work. We said phosphorus. We looked that up. The phosphide ion, that's 3 minus. And mercury tells us right here 2 plus. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. These two numbers, they add up to 0. So this is the formula for mercury 2 phosphide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.